Leah, welcome back to Chasey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I hope you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and start with pick a card here. So you're meant to hear all three messages, but the first one you choose, Leo, is going to be your strongest message you're meant to hear, your second, your second, your third, your third, okay? They are pretty in-depth messages, so I will um, read you from the, um, from the book the meaning of each of them because they are intricate and I don't want you to miss any of the messages. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to hit the like button. It definitely helps your fellow Leos and it helps others to understand Leos. So it's to your benefit. And it's also also to the channel's benefit as well because it helps other it helps reach other Leos uh, in that algorithm as well. So I really appreciate you taking the millisecond it takes to do that. Thank you. I love reading for all of you. I can't wait to dig in. Let's see what's going on in your energy. If it resonates for you, as always, in the description as well as the comment section, there will be the link provided there for the extended, where I will dig much deeper and we sneak peek into the month ahead and we will get the tarot sexual magic, intimate messages, uh, anybody that's affecting your future in the forward month here, let's get going here. I know you're anxious procrastination. So some of you may be putting off a decision here. Remember, if this isn't your energy, I could be picking up somebody around you. It could resonate from your perspective or theirs. And do remember it's a general read. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So I feel like there's some definite procrastination here. So this could be on your end or whoever you're dealing with. Next message courage. Okay, so if you're worried about taking a leap here, Leo, spirit is telling you uh, that's why you're putting off the decision here to have the courage and the strength you have it within you to make a choice to make a decision to stop procrastinating to go after what it is you want. You are Leo after all. So your strength is right here. It's showing right in your own reading here. Spirit is telling you that you don't have to worry. You have everything within you to get through this decision, this choice, whatever it is you're putting off here. Um, I feel like spirit's telling you not to not to put it off any longer. Wow. Take off your mask. So for some of you here, you might be pretending you don't care about a situation or you just, you know, you don't want to deal with the situation here. Spirit's telling you, you really do, you know, care about the situation. It's just you, you're not really wanting to make a decision or a choice or this is who you're dealing with. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to read you a couple of uh, messages here, starting, of course, with procrastination. Stay until the end because I will be digging so much deeper, Leo, into your energy. I'll get your energy here on the traditional tarot, whoever you're dealing with on the other deck and the mutual energies between the two of you on our Shacy Prism Tarot. Okay, so let's see. Procrastination. I'm going to hold this up for you so you can focus on what I'm saying. Okay, you're being called to action. There's been important tasks that you've delayed. Even if it's something that you don't want to do, like cleaning the house, paying the bills, looking for a job or losing weight, doing your taxes, studying, etc. Now's the time to take responsibility and move forward. The point of power is always in the present. This card is showing you that there's an urgency for you to take action. If you're putting off something that's meaningful to you and doubting whether you can do it, the message is to have the courage. Interesting. The courage was the next message that came out. Okay, so that's very significant, is to have the courage to face your fears and do what you love. What is the worst thing that can happen? You make a mistake. Even if you do, you learn from it. There you go. You need to change your tune and stop putting things off for tomorrow what you can do today. Okay, now we're going to go to courage. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, sometimes, again, the, the messages are even more in-depth. Okay, it may give you some kind of clarity as to how you can... Uh, gain the strength or courage to stop procrastinating something that you've been wanting to do. Okay. Whether you're afraid of success or failure cannot stay where you are. You need to make a decision to move forward with belief, trust, and boldness. Give it your all no matter the outcome. Despite what you've been telling yourself, you are ready for a new adventure and another chance to prove that you have what it takes to face life challenges. Stop investing in limitations, lack, and dysfunction. Every blessing has a challenge and every challenge contains a blessing. You are ready to explore both. Whilst it might be difficult moments ahead, keep positive and believe that everything's going to work out for your absolute best. You are being asked to gather the courage to be who you truly are and to stand strong for your convictions. Interesting. To be who you are and then we have masks. You see how these are all interconnected? Remarkable. Beautiful. Okay. 
Take off your mask. Stop trying to appear different to who you really are. It's time to take your mask off and be the real you. You cannot get the love and attention you're craving by pretending to be someone you're not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfection, fears, or vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others even if this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what's important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. You will know, sorry, if you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them as well as those who doubted and disliked them. So this is very interesting because it's about being yourself, going after what you want and don't put off a decision to people please or if it's your fears that are holding you back that it's causing you to procrastinate. So go after what it is you so desire. Don't try to just people please. And that could be for you or that could be for whoever you're dealing with. All right, we're gonna use the Aquarian deck. This is the vintage deck. This is, these are 51 years old. Leo, let's see what's going on. You can imagine how many people have touched this deck and it's in remarkable shape, but it's 51 years old. So I really trust this deck and let's see what's going on for Leo. Angels and spirits, what are the newest messages for Leo? What do they need to hear? We'll also get some advice and guidance messages, so stay till the end. Let's see what's happening for you. I like to dig deep for those of you that are brand new. For those of you returning, thank you so much for continuing to support our channel. Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is like commitment, marriage, uh, or committed to something. It's a lot of stability here. Combined assets, resources. Ten of Pentacles, why is it here for Leo? This could be what you're wanting. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Interesting. You may have a lack of trust for somebody in a situation. We've got the two of cups here and the two of swords. Yeah, you're maybe putting off a decision here regarding a deep connection you have. It might be stressing you out here. Again, flip it how you need to. And it's like, there's a lot of resources tied up here. So it's almost like, how can I make this decision, this choice here? Is this worth having a commitment to this person? There's a definitely a deep partnership here, a deep commitment. It could be business, could be love here, but it's kind of like, I don't know what to do. You might be worried that someone is not honest you might be worried that someone's dishonest or they're feeling this way about you because we have justice here okay it could be dealing with a libra aquarius gemini scorpio pisces cancer taurus capricorn virgo for some of you not all of you if this is about a marriage or a commitment here it's like Something's going to the justice or legal system to do with money and finances. There, there's a lot of money um, assets tied up here. And it's like somebody's been trying to get away with more than their fair share. And so it's it's gone it's gone to court or legal legal decision choice being being made here. And it's kind of like you're not sure how this decision's gonna go. So you're not sure which direction to go. That's only for some of you. Let's see why justice is here. Okay, Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition here, okay? But this can also represent that the only thing that's being kept kind of hidden here, Leo, is that someone doesn't want you to know that they're having legal issues surrounding their stability, their money, or a marriage or commitment or something they're committed to currently here. So this could be why you're picking up that you don't know what's going on. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess, please, for Leo. Why is it here? Why is it here? What's the significance of the High Priestess for Leo? Okay, yeah. There's completion here. So what you may not know is someone is possibly filing for a legal separation. 
closing a chapter, divorce possibly here, in order to go towards a deep connection with you, or again, vice versa. All right, let's start digging even more. Let's get some advice and guidance here from the Love Oracle messages. For Leo, please, angels and spirits, what are the newest messages for Leo? In the current moment, what are the newest messages for Leo in the current moment? So like I said, in the extended, I'll dig a lot deeper into the month ahead. We'll find out if there's any blockages or anything hidden or what's going to happen in the near future. What are the messages? Wow. So children, for some of you, there could be children involved. Okay. And that's why we're kind of keeping quiet, being careful here. Uh, because we do have the Ten of Pentacles can indicate family, marriage, commitment, you know, uh, and it's kind of like if there's children involved, we want to be very careful about the steps we take here. There's a closure of a closure of a chapter. So we're trying to move forward here in a new direction. Could involve travel for some of you here. Children are involved in this relationship. This could be the possibility of bringing in a child or the thought of having children. This may pertain to acknowledging your inner child or reaching a childlike frequency or higher vibration. So that could be the reason why Someone's putting off a decision. If it's affecting children, family, finances, it's like I'm pretending to kind of be happy here. Turning a blind eye to the fact that I'm not happy here because I'm pleasing others because I have children that I have to think about here. So it's like someone's trying to get away with money or assets or something to that level in order to close a chapter but very carefully here it's like i'm i'm being very i'm, I'm strategizing how i'm going to approach the situation here because you know i'm affecting children here and i have to be very very careful on, on my approach on um filing legal documents or taking legal action because it's going to affect my children, my children's well-being here, financially here, um, education in the future, just w whatever the case may be. And it's kind of like, I'm not really totally sure on exactly how to do this, how to close this chapter without affecting children, my children, their children, um, whoever has children. I want to be careful here. That's what I'm getting. For those of you that don't have children, this is just, I'm being careful on how to retain my stability here we have seven of swords so it's kind of like i'm taking five with me i'm leaving two so i'm i'm taking more than my 50 percent of these assets whether that's a house a home a, a family business something it's like there's going it's going to go through it's going through legal issues i feel here for some here and it's like waiting for that to close. So I have to wear this mask until these legal issues get resolved so that I don't screw anything up for the future stability here or for children, for those of you that have children. What's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Angels, and Spirits in the current moments? What can you see for Leo? What are the newest messages for Leo? What are the newest messages for Leo? What do they need to know? What is going on? Yeah. Okay. It could be waiting for a payout here. Uh, ba balance to be restored. Uh, Justice and Six of Pentacles is about balance. I'm waiting to balance everything out here. Uh, so I got to keep wearing this mask and, and keep things hidden here until things are fair and balanced. And then I can, it's almost like I'm going to open up a can of worms here once things are fair and balanced, once I feel it's okay to do so. And spirit saying, stop putting off this decision. It's time to make this decision here. Yeah, it's time to take action. There you are. It's time to take the action and go after what you want here. It's, you know, again, this could be flipped here. Somebody's worried about taking the action here and having things fair and balanced first before they do it. So it's meanwhile, they're acting fake, they're wearing a mask. Could be you or whoever you're dealing with. It can be a family member, a friend, a love interest here. But there's a very deep connection here. 
and I feel like you have no idea what's going on, or they have no idea what's going on. What's going on with Leo's person of interest? How are they feeling currently towards Leo? What are their intentions? What are the newest messages for Leo? What are the newest messages for Leo? What do they need to know? It's like I want to balance everything out here before I go after a connection here. Things are in court or things are need to be balanced here or uh, finances balanced before I take the action. Yeah, there you are in your own reading again, Leo energy. Yeah, it's kind of like happiness illumination everything coming out into the open with the sun it's about going after my abundance my success here okay it's like they want to apologize here they're going to bring everything in, out into the open and you're you're mirroring each other with the six of pentacles i want this balance between us i want this equal give and take this partnership this relationship here i feel they may reach out and message you here that they do want to come together with you so if they've kept this hidden from you before and you had no idea what's going on, I feel like they're going to tell you what's going on, that there are justice or legal issues that they had to work out, whether there's children involved or not. It's kind of like I'm trying to get together my stability. They might have a business that is, has a lot of money tied up, um, so they haven't been able to concentrate on your connection here. You're definitely connected to somebody on a very deep level here. With the Two of Cups, is like a spiritual union. Somebody that you're very deeply connected to but it's like i'm tied up in this situation right now i'm not sure how it's going to go and i can't make any decisions or choices i feel like somebody's putting off a decision or choice until they know the outcome of a legal decision involving a ton of money or assets here is what i'm getting let's get the mutual energies let me know if this resonates for you don't forget to hit that like button again uh, like i said it helps support your fellow leos and it definitely helps others of us to understand Leo's energy better. Let's see what's going on mutually between Leo and a person of interest. This is definitely somebody that, you know, wants to take the action here, but is being held back for that reason. It's like I'm waiting to find out uh, what the best course of action is here to balance things out before I kind of bring everything out into the open. But with the sun here in your person's energy here, it definitely represents that they're going to bring everything out into the open. Yeah, trust your intuition. So I feel like you and whoever you're dealing with are both highly intuitive and trusting your intuition right now. We've got that here twice. You could be dealing with somebody as well who is a high priestess, who is very, very... Um, highly intuitive almost psychic they may know what's happening with you intuitive on an intuitive level or you could be kind of speaking to each other in the 5d you know mutual energies communications coming yeah spirit says you both need to communicate but i feel like many of you because this came right out just like i was saying high priestess you're you're communicating in the 5d you're trying to know what each other's thinking yeah you both want the whole enchilada you want your happiness here you feel like you could make your dreams come true with each other if you could get on the same page okay i feel like there's a lot of silence right now but clarity and truth and openness is coming here i feel it's all to do with assets justice legal issues here yeah that's why i feel like you're still holding on to each other whoever this is for you there is a deep connection it's not something you can just sweep under the carpet and let go there is definitely a very big bond here and you both want an equal partnership here with the six of pentacles. Like you both see that you can give each other an equal give and take here and, and have this balance together here. So I feel like you're holding on to each other, but just need to get through this chapter that is closing here. Okay, this could be somebody coming back around again to you that was unable to give you the equal give and take before because they weren't in the position to. Okay because of this closure they have to go through first. All right, let's start digging into the month ahead in the extended. I hope this resonates for you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you'd like further notifications from our channel, future readings, check the playlist. You can check your other placements if you know what they are. I also have divine partner messages there and uh, divine masculine messages there, whatever you want to check into. I thank you for being here. If you want to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior family uh, membership, that's also down below. That gives you unlimited extendeds. Okay, so everyone I put out, you can go ahead and check out. 
um, once you join the membership. I thank you for being here. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Much love and much light. For those of you leaving me now, I'll see you in approximately a week. For those of you meeting on the continuation, I will be right there. Namaste.